Mm-hmm. Taking a minute to connect, huh? Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live right here from Insane, the main build facility of Bubba's Exciting Motorsports on the film stage. I'm Tom. Entering stage right is the master Bub. Good morning, Bub. How are we doing? Yeah, baby. So you definitely said we are insane, the main film. Inside. Something. Inside the main build facility right here insane. on the stage floor. I'm Tom. The master has already entered. Stay near the taillight. I told you, stay near the taillight. You're cropping your legs right. off. I'm telling you, you're cropping your legs off. Good morning, Bob. How are we doing today? So, okay, so we are here at BEM. It is Monday morning. Beautiful weather outside here. Probably already 85 degrees. Super, super hot. Gorgeous. The rides are out. The streets are looking insane here up in Jupiter, Florida. We are having a blast with a lot of crazy high end rides here at the shop right now. Everything from vintage to pro tourings to brand new c7 750 horsepower yep. vets that started off our day this morning um, to yep. everything down to now what you see the porsche gt3 conversion this is one insane job that takes a lot of skill and a lot of quality and time to get this so it looks like a Porsche mass production conversion. This episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, ladies and gentlemen. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. Miss Outlaw Boutique, exclusively on the internet now, Miss Outlaw Boutique.com. And finally, Bubba Orange County Choppers. Orange County Choppers are choppers done. Bubba style. And tonight, what happens at 10 o'clock, Bubba? Hey, man, 10 p.m. tonight, Discovery Channel. Don't miss an all new American Chopper. They were all busy this weekend, Bubba. I believe Senior and uh, Joni, we were talking to them. They uh, left New York. They filmed last week, was it Thursday, flew to Chicago, uh, no, Detroit, then from Detroit down to Chicago. Then he was back doing a charity event for children yesterday in New York. Man. That's right, man. All good, over the place. Good people, man. Yep. Solid people. Make sure you watch the all-new episode of American Chopper tonight at 10 p.m. Yeah. Bub, this is the BEM 991 or 911 Porsche GT3 Cup Car Conversion that is going on right now. You worked around the clock through the weekend, Bub, to get this to paint and body. This is the Extreme Dimensions body kit that you purchased for this particular build. Been a lot of little issues with that. Let's talk about those, Bub. Well, you know, it's uh, so, okay, so right out of the gate. So people are going to say, okay, well, why, right? Um, so the Porsche 991, the 991S, those are the Carrera models. Those cars come very nice from the factory, but as everybody knows, if they are Porsche enthusiasts, once you go from that Carrera to the Carrera S, the bodies of the car change just a little bit. They don't look like they did, but they did change just a little bit in terms of the width at the rear. Yep. So there were things that you couldn't just interchange from one or another, like the side skirts, for example, you couldn't bring on a set of Carrera S's onto a base Carrera. So little things that you couldn't modify and alter that required going to that next level. You couldn't just go and buy like the next thing up from Porsche, paint it, color match, stick it on and move. Um, but when you start getting into things like the Porsche GTSs or the sport design front bumper, um, all of that changed the look of the car in big differences, right? Huge, the way it made the front end look longer. It made it look lower to the ground because it had like extended lips on the front of them. Um, but this one here being the GT3, which was the Mac Daddy of the time. This is if this is being built and themed after a 2014-15 model line. Still that a is, Mac Daddy, isn't it? Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah. That is still like where that's where it's at. If you want a very fun, streetable track car, yep. that that's is the it. car to do, right? So when you go to Porsche and you want to do that conversion, for example, you're looking at right out of the gate probably about thirty thousand dollars just in part in parts alone. So. Front fenders are just north of $9,000 for the two front fenders. The front bumper complete conversion, which is lighting, the running lights, the side marker lamps, the grills, the extra uh, oil cooler assembly, all of that stuff. Rear grills in the back. North of probably about 10 plus thousand there. So just in the front end, you're looking at about 20 in parts before you even get back to the side skirts or the rear bumper assembly. So you start building up a serious amount of money just in parts before you've taken them to a facility and have the paint work done, have any mock-up or fitment done, which buying from Porsche, you're not really gonna have any problems. You buy the parts, you stick them on. It's just that simple. Um, in this case, you go a different route, right? So in terms of budget, this kit was about five grand just in the product alone, which is front bumper, rear bumper, rear trunk, and spoiler assembly for the engine cover. Um, so those three pieces, just over five grand, plus you've got your materials on top of that. So buying Porsche Direct paint, um, you're looking probably another three grand there. So you're probably in at about eight grand now versus 30, mm -hmm. and you've already gotten now your materials covered and all of your product covered. Now, Bub, let's talk a little bit before we went on the air Saturday with the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast, doing it Bubba style live Saturdays from 9 to 10 a.m. 
right here on Bubba's Motorsports Facebook page, Blog Talk, iTunes, everywhere else. You were out here working on the fit and fitment of these uh, bumper covers. You also uh, worked around the clock all day Saturday uh, after we got off that show and into Saturday night and all day Sunday as well. Yeah. You spent m probably 80% of that time getting the fitment of these bumper covers correct. Mm -hmm. Why were they so far off, Bubba? So, you know, for me, it was perfection. Um, coming out of the box, of course, they're, they're fairly decent. You know, they're not 100%, no chance. Um, but coming out of the box, they're good enough that the average guy, for say, example, like a quick, maybe wide body conversion or aftermarket body kit upgrade he's doing, um, you know, that kind of deal would be something that would work okay to just take these parts, put them in a paint shop and stick them on your ride. They would be okay. But in terms of building and designing on a six figure plus car, you don't take and slop it together and do it very fast. You want it to look like Porsche quality in the end. And that's exactly why I put so much time into this stuff. Probably about 10 hours into hand working time into each bumper and piece. And that's actually why the rear trunk is not done yet. It is absolutely poured at the way the molds were done on the sides. And I'm not willing to put that out in the end result. Now, Bub, let's take a look real quick at this, uh front bumper if we can i want to show the quality and the clarity in the paint itself bub notice that there are no imperfections or flaws in this front bumper and bub this has not even been what we call cut and buff what is the cut and buff process bub so that is when we go at bem we do that seven stage polish everybody hears us talk about it all the time and that's exactly what we do is literally seven stages of start to finish getting this thing looking like an absolute mint and a mirror quality shine. Before we even put in that detailing and go into the ceramic style coatings, this is gonna be cut through with a thousand grit sandpaper to get out any imperfections that may be in here. Then we're gonna refine all those scratches. So we're gonna go from thousand to 1500, then to three. Three stages of just a hard wet sand. Then we'll go into a 5000 for a final, right before we lay down three coats in three different coats of a buffing itself. So we're gonna do a step one from 3M, which is gonna actually remove any of those scratches. Step two is gonna refine those scratches and get rid of any perfections and swirls that are there. And then three is an ultra glaze that goes on it. And that's just before we even get this thing into our detail bay and let these guys go to town on making this ride look mint. Now, Bub, let's talk a little bit about the back end of this vehicle. And ladies and gentlemen, if you doubt the fact that we watch what's being said, there it is right there. We do, in fact, watch what you say. I watch it on my phone there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk a little bit, Bub, about this GT3 rear end. I also want to talk, Bub, a little bit about the exhaust on this car, if you could give us some in information on it. Yeah, so as you can see, so right now the bumper is actually, this is fresh out of paint. This thing just dried um, overnight, actually. So I brought it out. It's been sitting outside in the sun this morning, and we just went ahead and actually threw it on the car with a couple quick fasteners, just so you guys could see roughly what the end product's going to look like. We do have a few pieces still left to do. We have the tow hook that needs to be cut out and mocked up and painted. Also, we have across the rear center here, there is the words Porsche that go on here in chrome. We did receive those in from Porsche directly. That's one of those parts that you don't want to go and buy aftermarket eBay stuff. You do just want to spend a little bit more money for the extra 50 bucks it is. You're getting the exact thing that Porsche would have put on the car from the factory. So we've got those Porsche letters and emblems in here. There is a GT3 grill, a true GT3 grill that goes in the opening here that will go on this car uh, all the way down to the lower diffuser. This is actually a super nice upgrade and a lot of people wondered how you can do a GT3 conversion on like a base model 991 Carrera slash Carrera S. And that comes from the fact that Extreme Dimensions built this rear bumper with this lower diffuser to incorporate the factory style exhaust on these, which is dual tips on the left and right side, not the center opening, what the factory GT3s have, which is the two single tips in the center. So dual versus a quad style setup. This setup is actually a stage two power package from Fab Speed Series exhaust and let me tell you, this thing has a mean roar to it. And by the time we did that exhaust, cat back, we went through that race series system, a Cobb Sport tuner, and also the BMC filters. This thing lays down some serious power and torque. Well, I want to talk a little bit. You mentioned some of the things that you were dealing with from an imperfection standpoint. If we simply look along the line right in here, we can see where you are hand filling some of the molds here. It's also very noticeable, Bub, along this area in here as well as towards the other side of the wing down here, if you could point that out to yeah, me. Yeah, you know, so what you're looking at is these are actually all these marks that you're seeing now, and this is going through the coating that comes from, you know, directly out of Extreme Dimensions. This is the way you get it shipped is in the black coating here, but I'm actually working through that using that as a base coat 
before I even go into my own primering. This is a base coat just to block out any imperfections and actually create the shape of what I want. All these corners were super, super harsh, really hard cut 90, really rough corners. So on this kind of car, I'm actually using just the rough or the, the, the roundness of my fingers to hand roll every one of these edges out. So it just has that smooth style feel the way that you would feel on a brand new Porsche. And the only way you can actually get that identical setup is to go and feel a brand new Porsche and make it go from that car to this aftermarket mold. And it turns out perfect every time. So that's what we're doing. We're rounding all this stuff out and getting this thing clean and ready to go. Hey, bub, I want to talk a little bit about, hey, guys, we're in the middle of filming. Uh, I want to talk a little bit, bub, about uh, kind of the fit and finish over here that we have on this side. We can see here uh, the uh, 911 or the 9191 bumper cover. Let's come around here. Let's take a look at the underside of this trunk panel. So yeah, man, so what you can see here is as this comes in, it does come in that black coating. It has already had all of the jams done, so everything is base coat, clear coated, smoothed out and ready to go on the bottom side. So now when we do go to shoot the top side of this thing, it'll be very easy to back tape the edging so that you have not only base coat, clear coat on the top side, exactly the way it would have been done, but that high gloss shine on the bottom side with zero blend lines, zero imperfections once we're finished. And Bub, let's take a look here over at the way you hand finalized these where the bumper cover and the body come together here, especially as it pertains to the wheel area. Yeah, so all of these side panels here, um, it took a lot of hand work to get everything to line up from the quarter panel all the way down into the rear bumper assembly, also getting taillights to fit properly. These are not mounted in right now. They are loosely sitting in here, so these gaps will tighten up much better once they are mounted. But it was a lot of work and hand fitment to make smooth transition from the bumper cover to the rear quarter panels themselves. All right, Bob, and let's take one other look here. This is another example in this area here of where you're literally body working all this. We can see some of the imperfections here in the mold itself. And that's common when you get uh, a lot of fiberglass parts. This is what you typically see. You can actually see these are a lot of weak pinholes here. And what you have to do is go through, cut all of that down to raw material again, and then you need to refill it so that you don't have those pinholes pop back through, which a lot of people see that happen on fiberglass molds and creations long time down the road, six months, a year, depending on the weather that it's sitting in. So, Bub, as we take the next step with the GT3 Cup car conversion, what will we be seeing? So, next step on this ride is going to be um, getting these pieces back off the car. Again, they're thrown on here just for you guys to see this morning the way it's coming together. Uh, we will pull these things back off. We'll get them into a full seven-stage polish, and then we will finish up on the rear trunk lid assembly, get that wet sanded and buffed, or get this scuffed down and get it ready to put in the paint shop, get it shot, get it ready to go. And then we will be down to final assembly. We have all of the lighting to do in the front bumper. We have front marker lights and turn signals. We have one, two, three, four, five grills, six grills that need to get molded and installed. And also this afternoon, the front lip all the way around this has to be 400 down taped off and shot in a trim satin black. So you'll go, you'll bypass the factory color on the lower section itself right Correct. here. Yep. Right, Bub. Very good. Bub, as we move through the week here, tell us what we're going to be seeing on Friday. There's a new segment that's going to be joining us, Bub is Buzz. We're going to be bringing you intermittent uh, shots throughout the day of what's going on here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Yeah, man. So, you know, we have a lot of stuff in the works right now. We've got everything from this ride going through. We have an insane build we are doing for a Jeep for SEMA. That thing is going to be, I would say, close to a six-figure Jeep, which is probably pretty stupid for a Jeep Wrangler, but it is going to be massive, and it is going to be a trendsetter. So stay tuned for that. You'll see those products coming to you guys live. Also, the completion of this ride hopefully will be done this week so we can get sure. this back yeah. out on the streets. And, uh, you know, just continue along with some of these crazy high-end rides we got here, everything from the Pro Tourings to the Hellion Twin Turbo Mustang that's sitting outside right now. That thing looks insane and is laying down just that 1,200 horsepower. Yeah. Pretty freaking stupid. That just got to us, bub. That is Florida's first twin turbo six-speed. Uh, in fact, it's the world's first Hell uh, Hellion-based twin turbo six-speed Mustang. That's right. Look for that, uh, much more of that coming. You're dealing a lot with John Urist over at Hellion dialing out the problems with that car, and we'll feature that later at some point this week, Bub. That's right. So, Bub, what else can we expect this week from you? Uh, just work, man. That's it. You guys just have to stay tuned. Go out there, hit our website at bubbasexoticmotorsports.com. Whatever it is you guys follow socially, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, whether it is Instagram, scroll down, subscribe to us, and we will literally go live in your pocket on the spot. Keep an eye out for the daily Bubba's Buzz, which will be a new segment, and we'll catch you live out here, Bub, doing certain things. That's right. You never, you never know when the camera's going to show up, do you? I never do. I just keep working. Till tomorrow, Friday, Bub. Keep on doing it, Bubba style. You will see you here, ladies and gentlemen, live on Friday from 11 to 11.30 a.m. 
with the exception of our new segment, Bubba's Buzz, which will come to you just sporadically throughout the week. So you have to keep your mobile devices close to you. This episode has been brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. Miss Outlaw Boutique. That's MS Outlaw Boutique and the one and only Orange County Choppers. Big news coming out of there, Bub. Orange County Choppers are Chopper's done Bubba style. Bubba had to turn on his mic again. Chopper's done Bubba style, ladies and gentlemen. This episode will continue later on today. I promise you'll see us at a later time with the first Bubba's Buzz. Let's reach out to touch somebody's life in a very positive manner today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open the door for people whose hands are full, or maybe it's just an elderly person. Let's shoe somebody who has holes in the bottom of their shoes. And if somebody's standing at the corner with the sign that says, hungry, will work for food, take them right across the street, power bar. Protein drink. It's cheaper than your designer cup of coffee. Until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, or later today, or maybe even you'll never know where we turn up. Let's just keep on doing it Bubba style.